The Apostle Paul's greatest desire was to get to know our loving Savior, Jesus Christ, much better. Would you like to know Him? Listen to this devotional. That I may know Him, a devotional by Ellen G. White. The conflict is for us. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame, and am set down with my Father in his throne. Revelation 3, 21. These are the words of our substitute and surety. He who is the divine head of the church, the mightiest of conquerors, would point his followers to his life, his toils, his self-denials, his struggles and sufferings, their contempt, their rejection, ridicule, scorn, insult, mockery, falsehood, up the path of Calvary to the scene of crucifixion, that they might be encouraged to press on toward the mark for the prize and the reward of the overcomer. The plan of salvation is not appreciated as it should be. It is not discerned or comprehended. It is made altogether a cheap affair, whereas to unite the human with the divine required an exertion of omnipotence. Christ, by clothing his divinity with humanity, elevates humanity in the scale of moral value to an infinite worth. But what a condescension on the part of God and on the part of his only begotten Son, who was equal with the Father. So great has been the spiritual blindness of men that they have sought to make of none effect the word of God. They have declared by their traditions that the great plan of redemption was devised in order to abolish and make of none effect the law of God when Calvary is the mighty argument that proves the immorbility of the precepts of Jehovah. The state of the character must be compared with the great moral standard of righteousness. There must be a searching out of the peculiar sins which have been offensive to God, which have dishonored His name and quenched the light of His Spirit and kindled the first love from the soul. Victory is assured through faith and obedience. The work of overcoming is not restricted to the age of martyrs. The conflict is for us. In these days of subtle temptation to worldliness, to self-security, to indulgence of pride, covetousness, false doctrines, and immortality of life, shall we stand before the proving of God?